My name is Edward Doan, and I graduated from Plano Senior High School in 1999. My journey has taken me to Austin and from there all around the world. I went to the University of Texas at Austin for engineering school, and I have now been at Google for the past six years. I visit schools all around the world, helping them use technology like Chromebooks and Google Apps in the classroom. Hi, my name is Anisha Katarkar, and I graduated from Plano Senior High School in 2012. I currently live in New York City, where I uh, am working as a theater director, and in the fall I'll be getting my MFA in directing from the Yale School of Drama. I think my time at PISD definitely laid the groundwork for the career that I have now. I feel like my teachers and my counselors were always really supportive of my pursuing my passion, and that support gave me the confidence to pursue my dreams and to think of myself as a professional artist. And I think when you have a good teacher like that, they really show you um, what you're capable of and open up a world of possibilities. Hi, my name is Travis Adams. I attended Plano Senior High School and graduated in 2011. And since then, uh, went to the University of Texas at Austin and received a Bachelor of Arts in Government and Economics last year. Uh, since then, I moved to Washington, D.C. and have been working as a research assistant uh, for the Federal Reserve Board of Governors and uh, I first took economics my senior year of high school. I remember how interesting it was uh, to tackle these problems mathematically. Some very uh, complex nebulous issues uh, could be solved with numbers. One teacher was very Im impactful on my life, uh, Greg Arp, my theater teacher. Uh, he taught me that given the choice between a lazy, talented person and a hard-working, non-talented person, he would choose the hard worker every time. And that, to me, signaled the value of hard work. After Plano Senior High, I then attended Yale University and Harvard Business School, and then subsequently moved to New York City, where I worked across different facets of the media industry, before then starting my own company called Mogul, which is now headquartered in New York with offices in San Francisco and Paris, France. There definitely was one teacher that was so important to me and to my education and career today, and that is Mrs. Shepard. She taught me so much in terms of having a passion and compassion for everyone around you and rallying people around a cause and incentivizing them and building team morale because everyone is in it together. And I owe her so much for teaching me all of this at a young age so that today I could be doing the same thing for millions of women around the world. Hi, my name is Vishal Menon and I am a Plano East alum class of 2015. I currently live in Washington, D.C. and study at Georgetown University as a freshman in the McDonough School of Business, majoring in international business and finance. I graduated from Plano East from their IB, International Baccalaureate Program. IB here stands for International Business. Uh, so for me, I guess once IB, always IB. <laughs> I was actually lucky enough to intern at the Canadian Embassy in Washington DC to be able to communicate with a lot of people from around the world so that's just it's something that I have you guys to thank for. So just to name a few, Mr. Sklar, Ms. Holloway, Mr. Adams, Ms. Kotwitz, Coach Fung, Coach Allen, Mr. Mathis, Mr. Hughes, Ms. Witcher, okay so a little more than a few. My junior year English teacher, Mrs. Holloway, she told me that you know Everything you decide to do in life should ultimately make you more content with yourself. Hello, my name is Annie Burton and I'm studying Arts and Sciences at University College London. Uh, I see it doesn't always rain in London. At the end of the summer it will take me around the world as I'm travelling to Tanzania to climb Mount Kilimanjaro for charity with my university. The International Baccalaureate Programme was just an amazing experience. Such supportive teachers, such passionate students, but also just opened my eyes to all the worldly possibilities. Miss Rory, my 8th grade humanities teacher, she was the one that really instilled 
uh, the academic drive that I think has gotten me to the place that I am now. You're capable of so much more than you really think you are, um, but it takes effort and it takes hard work. So she really, she really instilled that in me in quite a young age, really, in eighth grade. Not working for MI6 yet, but you never know, it could be in the future. And secondly, my coach, Coach Clark, from my two years I played soccer or football at uh, Plato Senior High, on a character level. She emphasised being a good person on and off the field to your teammates, to your family, friends, to strangers. And she was so encouraging for me when I switched schools to, to join IB, which was not an easy decision. Um, and her, her support was, was just the perfect thing that I needed. Hi, my name is Mark Davidson, and I currently live in Salt Lake City, Utah, where I play principal trombone of the Utah Symphony. Uh, I grew up in Plano, Texas, and went through the Plano school system to Christie, Carpenter, Clark High School in Plano East. Went to the University of North Texas to get my bachelor's in music education. Uh, did grad school at the Juilliard School in New York City. Went to the San Antonio Symphony for four years. Played in the Baltimore Symphony and the Cincinnati Symphony each for a year. And currently in my third year with the Utah Symphony. I was very fortunate to have great teachers, very important mentors, and had a big positive impact. Rich Kolodny, Fred Velez, and uh, Nicholas Williams, Jerry Thomas, and Avilio Villarreal. Those were some of the key uh, figures. Even though I play in the orchestra for a living, I also teach quite a bit. Excellence, the standard of excellence, was a motto that I would reference as um, sort of my upbringing. Hi, my name is Kurt Steinhorst, and I'm a K-12 Plano graduate. Today, I have the chance to fly all over the world and speak to companies, organizations, schools about how the way we relate to technology makes us distracted and unproductive. Some of that means going to fun places like Florence, Italy in the fall, and Sheboygan, Wisconsin in January, which is not fun. When I think back to growing up, I can't help but realize that it was teachers just like you who literally formed the foundation that allowed me to do what I'm passionate about today. From my middle school teachers, Mr. Arp and Ms. Witt, who believed I could be great in speech and debate when I had no idea, to Ms. Potts at Plano Senior High. I can think of literally countless teachers who continued to push me, one, to love learning because I saw the way they loved it, and two, to learn to love other people because I saw how well they encouraged and loved me. And so today I get the chance, one, to speak, but two, to coach other people and to teach other people about speaking. And it all has everything to do with the passions that you instilled in me growing up. So thank you. Greg Arp, he believed in me before I even believed in myself. Thank you. I consider myself very fortunate to have gone through Plano, so thank you. If it weren't for those amazing teachers that I had who supported me all the way through, who believed so much in me, who taught me so much, I can't say thank you to the teachers enough. They open your eyes to, to where you can take what you're learning in the classroom into your future, and you can't get that from anyone else. I would especially like to mention Becky Wusso and Karen Shepard as two of the most important teachers in my life. They reinforce my love of science and innovation. To Mrs. Wusso, Karen Shep, and all of the teachers, I know, ISD, I say thank you.